Tim Calcom, the Athletic Alec. You, obviously, this team has won a lot and had a lot of big names, but there's so much change. Uh, how did you approach joining this team, and, and what do you see as your role right now? Uh, at first in the summer, uh, I didn't know I was going to OKC, but OKC went through some changes in between that time. So uh, the management that let me uh, reevaluate re my situation, and I chose to come here after I had a talk with uh, Bob and Steve, man. They just re really served me on the culture, the players I play with, you know, the opportunity to play, uh, winning basketball and play for a championship. And I think that's what drove me here to this day right here. Right hand side, third row, Phil. Hey, Alec, Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. How hard was that you for you personally last year, moving around as much as you did, and how much would you be looking forward to finding some stability with this team and maybe proving yourself and sticking around for a while? Uh, it, was, it was more difficult for my family. I have a, a daughter and a wife, so that's tough, you know, move around like that. And just never being traded in my Seven plus years in Utah, I've never been traded, been traded twice is different. You know, I really got to side of, see the side of the NBA, the business side uh, last summer, uh, last season. But you know, I wouldn't trade nothing. You know, uh, stuff stuff's supposed to happen for a reason. I'm a believer in that, so I wouldn't trade none of that experience for nothing. I was meant to do all that last season. Second row, left hand side, Mark. Uh, Mark Spears, ESPN's undefeated. Um, how much have they talked to you about their need for you to score? You know, that's something that you, you do really well. And it was that part of your decision-making process, knowing that they could use some backcourt scoring here with Clay out? Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, that played a role. I think the opportunity, uh, just play, coming here and playing with a winning team, winning franchise, I think that was the biggest thing. But you know, Clay is out right now. and. It's a lot of uh, new players, new young players, so they said they need a, a playmaking guard, so I think I can help out in that way. So we'll just see how it unfolds, you know, when the season starts and practice starts going, everybody's around. We'll just see, see what happens. Second row here, right hand side. They definitely have a spot open in the starting lineup at small forward. I don't know if that's a position you played a lot. Uh, do you see yourself as a candidate for that, and, and it, does it suit your game? Uh, I think the way that, well, the way I see they play, you know, in the years past, you know, it's just positionless basketball. So who knows, you know? I'm really not like a traditional small forward because I'm only six, 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 seven. But if he wants me to start, you know, that's Curry's decision. You know, I'll roll with that too. Left hand side, back. Ben Ross, NBA Europe. Um, this team's been such a juggernaut, obviously, over the the past few years, and you know, a lot of change now. What's your response to people that? Say that you know maybe the Warriors are kind of an underdog this year. Uh, I don't. I don't think that. I haven't been a part of the culture. You know, this is my first year, but I, I don't think that they still got Steph, Clay, Draymond. You know, D'Lo. That's four All Stars right there. So I don't see how it's an underdog. But I guess we won't know until the, the ball tips up in you know, the first regular season game, and we'll just go from there.